Today, electric scooters are making their return to the streets of San Francisco. This after months of debate about whether to allow them at all. KPX 5's Katie Nielsen is live this morning along the Embarcadero with many more details. Katie. Kenny, we've already seen two people going scooting by this morning on those newly dropped scooters. And when the scooters first dropped over a year ago in San Francisco, it caused quite a disruption. The city received thousands of complaints from, poor, from residents about poorly parked scooters and riders not obeying traffic laws. SFMTA came up with a permit process, and only two companies were chosen as part of a year long pilot program Scoot and Skip. The folks behind Lime Scooters went to court to try to block the program, saying handpicking winners and losers based on unclear criteria, bias, and favoritism with no transparency rarely results in the community's best interest being served, and this is no exception. Trying to shut the whole thing down and prevent San Franciscans from having access to this kind of vehicle if it's not a Lime vehicle is kind of it's kind of low. I think it's I think it kind of proves that Lime doesn't really have the city's best interests at heart, and um, and I'm sorry that they're taking that approach. The courts shot down Lime's argument on Friday, so today 1,250 electric scooters are going to be back on the streets. But again, it's part of a year-long pilot program. If everything goes well during the first six months, then the city will allow double the number of scooters for the rest of that pilot program. So we could see up to 2,500 of those electric scooters here in San Francisco. Live on the Embarcadero, Katie Nielsen, KPIX 5.